Uh, this video, we're going to be uh, dealing with the, the topic of uh, corporate corpus. Uh, the words are all, you know, joined together, same root, same etymology. Uh, the uh, system of positive law, of course, works in the body corporate or the legal world. So we have to um, we have to go into the examination of that now. In the beginning of where most people um, would have at least symbolically been brought into this, remember this is just a piece of paper. The statement of birth record is just a piece of paper the parents filled out. Um, so we have to really, you know, stop uh, trying to say they registered you. Uh, the government clearly states they didn't register you. They re they don't register people. They register events. So that's another topic in itself we'll deal with in another video. But right now, we're just going to go look at what's how that world works in the legal, in the body corporate, and what does that really mean? Now, when we look at the statement of birth records that the parents filled out, um, the more modern ones that have happened, uh, and again, I was in darkness when I filled them out uh, for my children. Um, I didn't fill it out accurately, so I made the mistake. Um, I placed... I violated the privacy by putting their given name in the record and could have left that out as we discussed in other videos. But uh, the statement of birth format records uh, that were done at that time, at least in the 90s in Ontario, uh, clearly defined where the legal was on the document. It only put a little tiny word legal beside the surname. Didn't put the word legal beside the given name. So they didn't hide anything. I'm not saying it stood out and I would have noticed it at that time. Um, I blindly walked into the, the trap and fell in, into the snare, um, and didn't read and didn't do my due diligence. So I didn't fill it out properly. But they did tell you where the legal is focused on. So we're going to read out of the Canadian Law Dictionary um, and we're going to deal with what is the government basically only C. And so under person, it says the only legal person known to our law is the corporation, the body corporate. Now, we know that Christ and the belief system through God's word in, is in truth with light, whereas the world of man is in darkness. Uh, so we're going to go to, we're going to go to the actual dictionary and I'm only going to use, I'm just using a dictionary that I, I found has had more than not enough content in it that I could stay with it. Um, though I have no problem with people using other dictionaries, just be careful you're not using the convenience store dictionaries that barely have any definitions or content in them. Uh, so generally, a, when you see a fairly thick dictionary, you're going to have a lot more content there for a reason that will give you a better background on the words. So we're going to the word what does it say in uh, the dictionary on corporation? Again, it brings in, it says, assumption of a body. And there's the word assumption again. Now in law, assumption is deceit. To assume means deceit in law. Then we go to the word corpus, which is the root for the word corporation or corporate. We go to corpus. And it says, a human or animal body, especially a dead one. Which is why we relate to the word corpse. If we find a corpse, a dead body. And then we look at the word corpse when we use it in the army or the armed forces term, uh, which lacks the E at the end of it. Again, that's another discussion, but from my research into the language of hieroglyphs and meanings of the letters that are there to give us a message. The, these letters or messages um, seem to relate that the E missing from that, which represents property or estate in the world of man, when you join the army, you have nothing. Um, you've disposed of yourself completely um, to a department of the government, um, and therefore you're just disposable property. Uh, so they, the, the words don't lie, but you have to, you, you have to, well, th they can contain a definition for a lie, uh, but they, uh, they tell you what they mean. And so you have to do the due diligence in that. So, um, 
the world of man's law deals with dead, not the living. That's why even the birth certificates represent an execution and have the name in reverse generally as it would on the docket at a court. You'll always find the names in basically reverse, but it doesn't say given name or surname, just name in reverse. But that was the format in the, uh, during the Civil War when they brought the dead back on the trains. And so that's how they read them out in alphabetical order. And of course it was last name and then first name, middle name or whatever it was, but that's generally the format that was followed. So the, the civil world of man works in the dead, which is what Satan wants you to be. He wants you to work in the idea of the dead, that evil darkness that you do not see the light of truth of God. So that is why we, we uh, are surrounded by the world of corporate legal. It's all about the dead.